Hello, doctor. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. How was your weekend? My weekend, it was really interesting. Interesting. Because my, my husband um, was... Uh, it was his birthday. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And I... Um, uh, we went to to dinner on Saturday. Very good. Where did you go, if I may ask? Oh, uh, we we went to La Pampa or uh, La Costa. Oh, okay. Was it full? Oh, wait, you went to La Pampa and La Costa for dinner. Sí, for dinner. Yes, for dinner. No, he loves the Punta Jalapeña. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he, it, it's only that when he, when we were, when we go to La Pampa, all the times he asked for uh, La Punta Jalapeña. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, no, I, I when I do that, I like jalapeno poppers. Yes, yes. I love that. It's very good. All right, nice. Good for you. Thanks. What about you, Beto? How was your weekend? Hey, hello. Good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, my weekend are so 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 busy all the time. Mm, if I'm not working on in, on my company, I'm working on my business. Uh, oh, you have a business too? Yeah, I have a car. I have a car wash. Oh, interesting. Where in Sonsonate? Yeah, it's in Sonsonate uh, in the in the in the town where I live. Uh, San Julian. Uh, my the, the Saturday, uh, no, no, son, Sunday. Uh, my family. Uh, my my mother was. Uh, was. Her birthday. It was my mother's birthday. It was my mother's birthday. It was my mother. Sorry. It was my mother's birthday. Birthday, yeah. Uh, and my family, my sister, my cousins visit visited to me. Okay. Visited to us, and you know my family is very very big, and mm. when all uh, share time. Uh, each other uh, it was a lot of a noise <laughs> but it was pretty cool because you feel very good when your family of course is together you know um, talking about car wash it's very difficult to wash a car man man One you know on Sunday, I washed my car, and I washed it very well. And then I see this little white spots. Yeah. And I said, oh, man. So the next day, I wash it again. And the in like one or two hours washing, you know, like shampoo, water, clean, shampoo, water, clean, et cetera, et cetera. And I tell my wife, no, you know what? Car wash. There's a car wash around the corner of my house, like $3.50 or $4.00. Yeah. And I just relax, and they did it like in twenty five minutes. Yeah, and one thing that, uh, that I can advise for the people that have a car: don't let the 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 dirties per weeks because it's so 
so hard to let it really, really very clean, mm -hmm. even when you use uh, the good the, shampoo. The wash machine. Good evening, very, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, no problem. So when you have good shampoo, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. It's almost Christmas. It is almost. My wife, she wanted to put the Christmas tree on Saturday. <laughs> it's <And> amazing. Sunday, <laughs> I said, no, man, come on, respect Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Oh, no. I miss Mela. It's a male, uh, 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 Black Friday, teacher. Yes, yes. Yeah. But you have to respect Halloween a little. Oh, really? a smell, a smell to Jason and, and Letterface. <laughs> yes, I told her, you know, I want, you know, like my son, he went dressed today like a zombie. Oh, my God. You know. You celebrate uh, Halloween, teacher? No way, no way. I mean, no, because in El Salvador, no one really celebrates, yeah. but yeah. but I really, when I was a little kid, yeah, I, I, I it's fun. Halloween is, Halloween is very fun. Yeah. Many people say it's satanic, et cetera, et cetera. It's not. I mean, it's fun. Uh, sometimes I watch some videos in your nervous stage <laughs> for, for that party. My God, that, that person spent a lot of time. Yes. Yeah, and decorate your homes, his home or their homes. Oh my like, God, spend a lot zombies of and yeah. Yes, it's true. But you know what? Really, even if you dress like a little kid in a devil or Frankenstein, or but you're not really teaching the little kid devil is good. You know, I mean, he just does it for fun. I never seen somebody. Well. In my life, I have never seen somebody influence all because my mother dressed me like the devil or Dracula. Yeah. I am satanic. Oh, come on. That's, <laughs> yeah. But it's fun. I like that. But, you know, schools here are still very, very um, conservative. Yeah. Conservative. Yeah. So, but I, I think it's cool. It's fun. Here's my mask. But my son ripped it. Come on. See, there's my mask. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, it's a little ugly. <laughs> All right, so I hope everybody had a good weekend. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. And um, let's do this. Let me put up the platform. Remember, I, I think I'm, I haven't seen anything yet, but I'm very positive that there will not be class on, on Wednesday. Surely we won't. Yes, I'm pretty sure we won't. Mm -hmm. And, and we will study next Friday, right? Yes, we will do it on Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, and the course will, will be finished on uh, just on Monday or Tuesday. The what, I'm sorry? Next, next week? No, this is actually the last week. This is the last week? Yes. Oh my God. This is week four. Oh. Well, oh anyway. we need to finish uh section yeah. five and final exam. Yes. This week. Mm -hmm. I have finished two so weeks ago. Yeah. We're gonna finish in this week. Time fly. Oh my it God. does. Thank you, Blanca. <laughs> Remember what I told you once, the difference between studying and learning. But um, there's a lot of people that still, they prefer to study English, you know. A lot of people are still like, oh, I need to finish the platform. I need to do this. I need to do this. 
Good. Yes. You can do you can do the platform. That's no problem. And you can get all 10, but can you speak it? Do you understand it? That's the that's the prerogative. Yeah. That's what you need to I like it. Yes, and that, that's what you need to worry about, you know. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let me share my screen. Oh my All right, do you see my screen? Yes, sure. Yeah. Yes, yes, I do. Yes. All right, cool. So choose the correct words. Number one, blank. Let me see, let me see, hold on, let me see. Yancy, do you remember what this is called? Do you see my screen? Yes, sir, we see it. All right. Yancy, Yvette, can you hear me? Hey. Yes. All right. Do you remember what this is called? Yeah. Bar. <laughs> No, no, it's not a bar. No, no it's bar. No. It's close to a bar. Close. Down. Box, box, box. Ah, box. Down. Box. 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 down. You you saw. Down box. Drop down box. Drop, drop down box. box. Yes. Drop. Drop down. The drop down box. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the objective of Google is to use everything in in the cloud? Yeah. So for, for example, even the laptops that Google has now, they don't really have a hard drive, a physical hard drive. Yeah. Everything is like a drop down box and, and it goes to to the a la nube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, many people say no. I I don't believe in that because I I will be hacked, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know what? Nobody has ever hacked um, Android, Google. Not being iPhone and not Google. <laughs> yeah. So that's something to think about if you ever if you ever I don't know maybe in your business, or you know. If you, it, because maybe your business, you need to buy a cloud, you need to buy storage. And you will see, you will see options from Microsoft and, and Google. I would personally recommend Google because they have mm -hmm. never been hacked. That's why in, um, you know how in the United States every everybody has iPhones. That's why when you see ah el video de no sé qué, eh, you know some videos, whatever, it's because mm -hmm. they hacked the telephones. Okay, so Mr. Dabud, I'm sorry, uh, Rafael is Dabud. Dabu. Right? Dabu. 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 Yes. Where is Dabu from? He's from Palestine. It's Palestine? Okay. Yes. Cool. One, I have a very, very good friend of mine. His name is Dabura, which is... Really? Yes. It's, uh, I, they, are, they are the owners of Mike Mike? Yes. Right. They, they are my cousin oh okay <laughs> oh okay man yeah because Dabu yeah. pero le decimos de apodo Débora sí. <laughs> because, <Okay. laughs> no because when we used to work we had a, a, a group chat and uh -huh. the group the group chat always had autocorrect 
So ah, every okay. every uh -huh. time we wanted to put Dabura, it, it automatically went to Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so everybody who is Deborah, le quedo Deborah. <laughs> it's funny. Imagine his nickname is a woman's name. Yeah. Deborah. Okay, so number one, uh, Rafael. I graduated from college. I used my college degree to get a high playing job once once i got rated once i graduated okay yes because every he's speaking in past tense right right okay yeah. good dr patricia what is number two uh, number two uh Please select the option, please. Where? In the, in the number two. <laughs> um, I, I want you to say it. <laughs> I, I don't remember. <laughs> drop down, down box. <laughs> the, drop down box. Please okay. open the drop down box. The moment. Um, the room. That's how you say it. Please open please, the drop down box. Please open the, dro the drop down box. Dro drop down box. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment Takio got his first car, he immediately found out how many of his friends needed rides. 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 Good person. Good. One thing, listen, ride is ride, aventón, o montar. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So, for example, you don't drive a motorcycle, you ride. All right? Horse. You ride a horse, you ride a motorcycle. A bike. And a bike. Okay. I think that's it. Yes, because I hear that many people say, oh, I was driving my motorcycle. No, you don't drive your motorcycle. You ride it. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Number three, Janet Yanira. Yes, teacher. Hello. Can you do number three, please? Um, please open the dro dro drop down box. Most definitely. Sure, I can. Number three said... As soon as Katrina land, landed her first job, she decided to put 10% for each paycheck in the bank. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Blanca. Pleasure. Okay. Blanca, what's next? The box number four. Thank you. To gain more real world experience in college, Andre should have applied for non paying internship. Is it correct? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Yes, it is. Do you know what an internship is? Do you know what that is? Uh, yes, like um, a scholarship, no? Hmm? Internado? Uh, intern. Mm, it's more, well, in English, it's like, in Spanish, it's like pasantía. Yeah. Uh, a pasantía no es pagado, ¿verdad? No. Sometimes. Nothing at all. Well, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sometimes. Or, or, or maybe like the minimum, the most minimum. Yeah, yeah. Inner. It's like a recognition. <laughs> yeah. In person. Thank you. All right, good. Sandra, number five, please. Number five. Could you please open the drop down box for me? Sure, I did. Most definitely. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. 
number five. Um, let's see if I had been more sensible in college, I um, could have learned how to control my money and not to get into debt. All right, good. Walter, number six, please. Um, could you open the drop box, please, Peter? Drop down box. Drop down box, please. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, he shouldn't have been so naive. I can't believe he actually fell for all the lies Anna told him. Okay, good. Naive. Naive. Uh, naive. Naive. naive, like like the president, naive. Yeah, yeah. Naive. Sin la ye, naive, naive. Naive, naive. Okay. Beto, what is the name of your car wash, Beto? Beto's car wash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. All right. And I told him. Uh, number seven, right? Puedo con el dueño de Beto's? Yeah, yo soy Javier. Y el dueño soy yo. <laughs> Javier, why is Beto? But nobody know me like Beto. <laughs> oh, okay. Like like Javier, sorry. Nobody know me knows me like Javier, just Beto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. Nobody knows me as Beto. Excellent. Nobody knows me as Beto. As Javier. Mm -hmm. As Javier. Okay. Good. Uh, who, number eight, please. Seven. Oh yeah, seven. I'm sorry. Uh, help me with the drop down. Sure. Um, if I had been so, if I hadn't been so immature, I would have appreciated all that my family tried to do for me when I was in school. Nice. Oh, good. Good. Wow. I like that because you read the grammar. Yeah. You read the commas. Very good. All right, Yancy Yvette. Yes. And number eight, you show me the drop down box, please. Okay. <laughs> the delivery man was supposed to drop off the boxes at nine o'clock. He's an hour late. He's my help. Lost the direction to get her here. Okay, good. Thank you. Amilcar, number A and number nine, please. Hey, could you open the drop down box, please? Sure. Okay, thank you. It's right there. Okay. Number nine. Gloria was wearing a new ring today, and John looked very happy. Oh, they you. must have decided to get married. They yeah. must have. Thank you, Miguel. Miguel Antonio. Hello, teacher. Hello. And number 10, right? Yes, please. Who you? Open the drop down, please. Sure. Uh, did you remember to charge the digital camera? Oh no, you should have remind me. Remind me or remain? Reminded me. Reminded me. Oh no, you should have remind me. You should have reminded me. Very good, Jacqueline. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, let me see, teacher, the drop down, please. Box, Most. please. I sure can. I ordered a stick last night at the new restaurant. I was in disappointment. It was undercooked, but I didn't do anything about it. I will have complained and send it back to the chef. It's would or should. I remember last week we were talking about this. It's should have, right? 
Will have teacher. Will have. Will have. Will have teacher. Yeah. Okay, let's read the following paragraph or story. Okay, reading is fun. Book club members know that sharing and talking about books with others can be rewarding. For people who feel that they are too busy to read a book, uh, they're too busy to read. A book club helps them keep up with the reading schedule. Others have gained self-confidence by participating in or leading a discussion. And most people enjoy the chance to make new friends. A successful book club should have should be small enough so the quiet people can be heard but also big enough for many opinions. The best arrangement is a mixture of ages and backgrounds. Some book clubs meet in bookstores, public libraries, or cafes, or even online. But most have their meetings in members' homes. This setting offers quiet space and time for longer discussions. A book club could specialize in one subject or type of book, like mystery, science fiction, or biography. Or the members could read all types of books, as long as the book is recommended by someone who thinks it would be worth discussing. For the meeting to go smoothly, a leader should be appointed. The leader will usually start the discussion and keep it going when needed. Book club members should never be afraid to offer their opinions, even if they don't like a book. Different opinions make, discuss, um, make the discussion livelier. All right, do you understand? Um, do you like to read class? Not really, teacher. Oh, so. Depend on the topic. What do you like to read? Um, story books about the, the wars, about wars, second or first war. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, what what book would you recommend? I don't remember the names of the or titles of the book teacher, but okay. in order to recommend you, yeah. yeah. Okay, but class in general, would you ever recommend a book that has impacted you? Like, wow, this is cool. Like me, my favorite book is Don Quixote. My favorite book teacher is um, Cien Años de Soledad. Oh, that's good. Yeah. My favorite book. Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I remember that. My favorite book is La Divina Comedia. Of Dante. Yeah. My favorite book is The Cow. The Cow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. The cow, La Vaca. La Vaca, the sí. Uh, mm -hmm. it's true. Song. I, I never I never heard about that. <laughs> La vaca lola. No. It's good, very oh, good. Oh yeah? See from Camilo Cruz. Oh okay, that's it. I like I like reading I used to like reading books a lot, but now with internet I, I read more biographies. That's good and bad because before I used to love to read books a lot. Any book. Mm -hmm. Any book is, is, is good. Yo lo que hago es que leo 20 páginas. If it's boring, I don't continue. If it's good, I continue. You know what I don't like? 
I I uh, Coelho man. Oh. Uh, Coelho yeah. is very very good. Caballo de Troya creo que tiene. Coelho's very, very good, but um, he is similar to Mana in music. Like, yeah, like todas, de, todas son igual. <laughs> you know, yeah. but they're good. Mm -hmm. But I, I really, I remember the first time, the first time I read El Alquimista, wow. I really mm -hmm. recommend. I actually have given Alquimistas to many people. Many people that say, oh, I, I never read a book in my life. I don't like books. I, I, I give them the alquimista and I tell them, look, if you don't read this book completely in two days, learnos lo tuyo. <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's, it's a really good book. I recommend you that. Yeah. I, I like uh, the Agatha Christie. Uh, it's like uh, uh, sus suspension movie. Uh, uh, suspension uh, novel is a novel no mm -hmm. yeah uh, uh -huh. it's a novel suspension. oh okay no uh -huh. cool all right so let's see if this if this was true or false let me show that do you know that in the um in the united states is that there's a very very big controversy because the Bible, mm -hmm. the Bible is considered, technically, mm -hmm. technically, is considered fiction. What? Fiction. Really? Yes. So if you go to um, a library and you look for the Bible, they'll tell you, oh, go to the fiction area. And of course, I, I okay, but I don't want to get controversy or anything because I know what many will tell me. That's not fiction. That, oh, no, no. What I'm saying is technically. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that get angry for that. But the problem is, the problem is, if they permit the Bible to be a, a, a real, a science book. Mm -hmm. Entonces, los satánicos van a decir, hey, si se puede eso, entonces también es nuestro. Mm. Mm. And then the Muslims, hey, uh, um, then ours too, the EMPS, the Pandora box opens. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, it's crazy. Okay, so, do you see my, my screen? Yes, I do. I don't. No, no. no. What? Right now, yes. Now, yes. Okay, good. A book club is only for people who have a lot of time to read. Is that true or false? Mm. Oh. True. Okay, let's say true. It's true. It's an opinion, too. <laughs> no, it's true. Yes, it is. Some members have become more self confident by leading discussions in a book club. Mm -hmm. True or false? Mm -hmm. Others have gained self-confidence by participating in or leading a discussion. It's true, people. What? Do, do you understand what this is saying? Some members have become self-confident by leading discussions in a book club? Yeah, but uh, almost to me, uh, the platform say me it false. I don't know why. Oh, that's why the you're saying false. Wrong. Yeah, the platform is wrong. In fact, yeah. the, for me, number one is false. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, yes. It's false, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A book club should have a lot of members with the same opinions. Mm. Oh. No. That's false. false. Yes. Yeah. 
A successful book has members with different backgrounds and ages. True. That's true. That's true. 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 <clears throat> A book club could choose to read many different types of books. True. It could be true. Yeah. Most book clubs have their meetings in homes of the members. Oh. False. Why is it false? Can you tell me why is this false? Because, because the platform is... says. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you see, because, books because they uh, their meetings in the homes of the members. You don't. You you didn't pay attention to the reading. Only to the reading it says yes. Listen, yeah. it's a mixture of ages and backgrounds. Some book clubs meet in bookstores, public libraries, or cafes, or even online. But yeah. most have their meetings in members' homes. Oh. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. it, it should be true. Most clubs have their meetings in homes of the members. It's true. It's true. It's true. But I imagine the platform says false. According to the reading, is yes. Okay, I like that. I like that, Blanca. According to the reading. According to the reading. Oh, oh Sandra, thank you. According to the reading, but according to the platform is wrong. <laughs> right. It's better not to have a leader in charge of the discussion. False. Oh. Because it's, it's necessary. It's false, teacher. Mm, it's very, it's true. No, it's false. Because it's true. according to the... Uh, it is necessary that, that they have a leader. Yeah. So it, it's really? True. It said it's necessary to have a leader? I suppose, yes. According to the, according to the reading, they have a leader. The leader will usually start the, the discussion and keep it... Thank you for the, in the last paragraph, you need it. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, you're right. The leader, the leader actually started the discussion. So. For the meeting to go smoothly, a leader should be appointed. The leader will usually start the discussion and keep it going when needed. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, true. Number eight, it's not okay to dislike the book being discussed. Well, it is false. It's okay to dislike the book being It's discussed. false because it's okay if you don't like the book, you don't like it. Mm -hmm. In your yeah. opinion, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I imagine a lot are going to be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. So it's, what the hell? So a book should have a lot of members with the same. Okay. Oh, man. What did you say? Ignore the platform. <laughs> they want all, they, uh, the platform wants everybody to be um, uh, a robot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're in the last section, the intro video section four. Let's do this. Let me see. Keep on watching these videos. They give you can hear, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. A preview yes. of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks, and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece.
I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, Revelations. I look it up in the thesaurus, and I could have ten words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr, I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey, Josh, come on in. Hey, Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. At www.matthawks.com. And the song is Revelations. Enjoy. What is the name of the song? Revelation. Revelation. Right. Yes, that's all this song said. Huh? Revelate. They never played more than five seconds of the song, which was Revelation. <laughs> Okay, so the objective of this lesson, you will listen to a conversation about working in the movies using passive. passive. <clears throat> Do you know what is a passive voice? Yes, sir. What when is a passive the, voice? When the object is most important that the subject and the is. Okay.
when someone else makes things uh, instead of me. Or, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And instead well, that I give, they gave to me. No, not really. Not really, because I'm given. Let me give you an example. Mauricio Funes was arrested today. Example. Oh, yes. Someday. <laughs> but okay. Um, <laughs> that's going to be cool. And I, I want to really see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because, you know, I, I, I tell people that I don't think because his character is so strong. I, don't, I think he will kill himself before he's arrested. Be, like like Hitler, you know, like he's he's too proud. It's muy orgulloso. He knows that if he gets arrested, he's he's finished. But anyways, so imagine Funes was arrested today. Is that active or passive? Passive. It's passive. Mm -hmm. Passive. Exactly. Who said active? Me. Who's me? No. Blanca. <laughs> Blanca. Okay. I'm. So, no. The thing is, because I hear many, many windows light. Okay. Why is that active, Blanca? Because it says that he he was arrested today. He he. Uh, uh, the, uh, the the action um, is in. In the subject. Okay, but did Mauricio do, Funes do an action or he received an action? Received. Oh, okay. So in this case, it's passive. Oh, okay. Because the active would be the police arrested Mauricio Funes. Mm -hmm. Or somebody arrested Funes. Uh -huh. So the difference is, it's like Walter said. Somebody, okay, the police arrested Funes today. That's active because it starts with the subject and it finishes with the object. Mm -hmm. Or we can say passive, start with the object. Funes was arrested today. Okay. And sometimes it's not necessary to say by the police unless it's important. Mm -hmm. Because the important is like, hey, Funes was arrested today. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Let's listen to the video. This is how movies are hard at work. Let's see. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So, how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow! I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great! I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a 9 to 5 job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night. Or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything. And that can take hours. So, if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time.
Okay, so let's talk a little bit about a passive process. Uh, Rafael Dabu, I remember you told me something, you told the class something last week about a chicken, the process of a chicken. What What is it like two days before or? Uh, yes, I remember. What is the process of the chicken? 24 hours before. Uh, 24 hours before. Uh, it, it has to be marinated, correct? It, yes, it has to be marinated. And then... Uh, uh, or it, it has to be marinated for 24 hours. Sorry, or? It has to be marinated for 24 hours? Yes, 24 hours. Okay. And then uh, we cook for two hours. Okay. Okay, good. So the chicken has to be marinated for 24 hours and has to be cooked for two hours. Right. Those two sentences are passive. Correct? What would be the active? The employees marinate the chicken for 24 hours and then the employee or the cook cooks the chicken for 24 hours. For two hours. For two hours. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Really, it's, it's really not that difficult, uh, the passive voice. I have a dog with the uh, passive voice. Okay. Let me give you a, a very simple example. You cannot understand a passive voice if you don't understand the active voice. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you the cat is going to eat the mouse. Right. Or the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. One thing is the same story. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, the mouse is dead. Right. Now, what is the difference between saying, hey, the cat is going to eat the mouse or the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat? The difference is the importance. Do you want to make the cat important or do you want to make the, the mouse important? So if you want to make the cat important, you speak active because when you speak active, you say the subject first. Okay. And subject does the action. So, for example, you say, oh, my God, hey, hey, look, 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 look. The cat is going to eat the mouse. So the attention goes to the cat. Uh -huh. Or if you want to make the mouse important, you speak passive. Okay. And this is like saying, oh, my God, look, 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 look. The mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. The attention goes to the mouse. Uh, I get confused to your um before before a topic I was studying about passive voice. I get mm -hmm. confused because uh there are a lot of times when you use a uh, active voice and simple present change the structure and and passive voice. It happened oh. in on the other times. Yeah. Okay. W one thing you cannot like. I cannot say the cat is going to eat the mouse and the mouse was eaten by the cat. Yeah. It has to be the same tense, the same structure. Yeah, yeah for example, when you use a, a, a past progressive in the active voice, I don't know, change the, the verb completely or the structure in the passive voice. Okay, you have to understand one thing. Normally in Spanish and in English, yeah. I look at this tomorrow. We always speak active. I don't know why. 70% of the time we yeah. speak active. Yeah. yeah. We always say the subject first. Yeah. Yes. Ayer me comí, me comí una pizza hecha por mi mamá. <laughs> or anything. I, 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 I. Yeah. You, 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 he, 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 she, she, she. We always speak active, but sometimes 
Okay, let me give you that chicken example, Rafael. A chicken example? No, uh, the, the example that you told me about marinating. Así sería inactive. Yeah. In Pollo Real, mm -hmm. I, I take the chicken and I marinate it for 24 hours. The next day, I cook the chicken for two hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Now, who am I making important here? What I do or the chicken? The chicken. No, I'm making me important. Oh, yeah. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You work. Mr. Yes, okay. Because and I'm this saying is active, I. active boys. This is active because I'm, I, I, I am saying the subject first. Subject does okay. the action. Okay. Okay. No. Yes. Entonces, if, if you analyze, listen, oh, how I do it, oh, I take the chicken, I marinate it, and then the next day I cook it for two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean. Okay. It's clear. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I am making my process more important than the chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or I can change it. Oh, how, how do we make the chicken in, in Pollo Real? Oh, the chicken gets marinated for 24 hours. Es marinado por 24 horas. ¿Por quién? It's not important. Mm -hmm. uh, por lógica es por alguien. Mm -hmm. Correct. This is passive. It's passive. So the chicken is marinated for 24 hours, and when it's ready, it's cooked for two hours. Okay. It's cooked by who? I don't know, the, the chef? Somebody. But mm -hmm. when we speak passive, sometimes we omit the subject because it's really not important. Vuelvo y repito, Funes was arrested today por el sargento Carlos Escobar Galindo. <laughs> you know, you can say that, okay. Hey, Funes was arrested by the policeman, Lieutenant Carlos Escobar Galindo. Hey, ese es Pablo Escobar, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking that the saque Galindo Escobar, okay. Well, mm -hmm. anyways. Oh, let me more say Funes was arrested today. Mm -hmm. That is passive. Sometimes it's who you want to make important. A veces no queremos lucir cuando, hey, ¿en qué trabajas? Oh, ¿y cómo vas en las ventas? Ah, bien. Yo fui seleccionado de, de 100 personas para dar el discurso en la conferencia. It's like, come on. O sea, ahí nos estamos dando. Yo fui el seleccionado de 100 personas. Is that active or passive? Active. Why that? Why Rafael? Because qué acción hice yo? Eh, se puso en primera persona. Exacto, pero no he hecho acción. Uh -huh. I received okay. an action. It's passive. Okay. It's, it's passive because do you entender que alguien me escogió? Somebody chose me. Oh, okay, look. Lo voy a hacer fácil. Class, the vice president chose me out of 1,000 people to speak in the meeting. That's active, right? Mm -hmm. Porque es active, empezamos con sujeto, terminamos con objeto. The subject, the vice president. What did he do? He chose me out of 100 people to talk. Yes? Pero si yo quiero sonar un poquito más fresco, como orgullo, like, <clears throat> class. Mm -hmm. I was chosen mm -hmm. out of 100 people to speak. Yeah, so again, I don't know. I was chosen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's the difference. It's, it's who you want to make important. The cat is going to eat the mouse. The mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. You see, digo, hey, the, the mouse was eaten. 
por ejemplo, do, do you have an example? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> class. Oh, so, do you have, do you have an example? Oh, okay, Patricia. Con doctores es bastante como una operación. Yes. Uh -huh. Imagine, imagine I had an operation on my on my hand. Oh, me operaron, eh, me operaron en el hospital nacional. Is that active or passive? Passive. Passive. Because, because you received the active. Doctor, so active. A doctor, a doctor had the operation. Okay, good. Okay, that's good, Patricia. Yeah. So, me operaron, do you entender que alguien, right? Someone operated yes. me. Yes. Why is it passive? You received the action. It's passive because you are not passive. making the action. Passive is I was operated at the National Hospital. So, okay, one more time. Listen, active voice. Sabemos que es un sujeto. Do you know what a subject is? Yes. A subject does the action, correct? Correct. Yes. What is an object? An object receives an action, correct? All right. So remember this, active voice is when the subject is first and the object is last. Active mm -hmm. voice. So somebody operated me in the national hospital. Is that active or passive? Passive. Why? Because. Uh, ¿Qué acción hice yo? Anything. Nothing. Somebody. Somebody. Uh huh. Did you? Some okay. Some a doctor you operated. The doctor. Okay. And what is an active voice? What goes first, subject or object? Active is subject. Active is the first. Subject first. The subject is first. Okay, so once again, listen. Somebody operated me in the National Hospital. Somebody okay. is the subject. Exactly. And I am the object. I received the operation. Picture. Um, the... Me operaron en el hospital. What? Um, all the active boys became to a passive boy, or oh, there are exceptions. I mean, the only exception is, is, is the importance. Who do you want to make important? Mm. Okay. Do you want to make the subject important or do you want to make the object important? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me give you another example. Who killed Osama bin Laden? Si es que lo mataron, right? Imagine. Who killed what? The United States Osama. Osama. United States. Okay, the United States what? It was killed uh, by the United States. Okay, United States killed Osama bin Laden. Is that active or passive? It's active. 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 What is the subject? United States. United States. Yeah. What is the action they killed? Yeah. Yeah. Object Osama bin Laden. Okay, what is yeah. the what is the passive voice? Uh, bin Laden was killed by the United States. Okay, I good. Think. Yes, very good, Walter. So yeah. if you tell me what is the difference is what do you want to make important? Yeah. It's your story, so it's who you want to make important. Yeah. Por ejemplo, voy voy repito por funes porque una figura que todos sabemos, right? Pero podemos decir Hey, arrestaron a Funes. O oh, hey, Funes fue arrestado. Ahí está el perfecto ejemplo. Hey, ya arrestaron a Funes. O oh, hey, Funes ya fue arrestado. 
Which one is active? Which one's passive? Active Funes fue arrestado. No, we'll continue this tomorrow, class. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, <tomorrow. laughs> yes, we have to rest. Just yes, just remember, remember this. Don't complicate. No, Walter is passive. Okay. Well, we repeat. Active voice is when the subject is first <laughs> hey, teacher, and the my, object. My hamster is ram. My hamster is ram. It's Monday. <laughs> Your ram is slow right now. Yeah. Yo, no, es que yo creo que ustedes están confundiendo la historia con la gramática. Por ejemplo, con usted, doctora. Usted estaba con, confundiendo la, la operación, like, yo no, yo fui operado. Yes, I was operated. Pero I want you to focus on the grammar. En este caso, hey, arrestaron a Funes. ¿Quién lo hizo? Alguien, right? Mm -hmm. Alguien. Lo único que omití esa parte, omití el sujeto porque es lógico. Hey, arrestaron a Funes. Oh, hey, the police arrested Funes. Active. Why? Police is the subject. Funes is the uh, object. Yeah. Oh, hey, Funes ya fue arrestado. Por la policía. Si yo la quiero ver por la, porque a veces omitimos el sujeto porque es obvio. Oh, yeah. Porque no podemos decir Funes fue arrestado por por un paramédico. Yes. You know, eh, the only people who can arrest Funes is I think the police or the government. I don't know. Yes. But don't worry, we'll continue this tomorrow. We have the whole week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much, class. Bye bye. Good evening. 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 Good evening.